dear students welcome to epg patshala i am dr m p stija professor retired from the department of library and information science guru nanak dev university amritsar today we are going to discuss in detail first the library of congress which is a great library then the classification system being used therein the library of congress at washington dc usa is a library of the parliament of the united states where it is called the congress initially this library was set up for the use of the congressmen to debate issues and also to make aware and knowledgeable these politicians and lawmakers over the centuries with the vision of its librarians and the support of the government it had developed itself into the greatest library of the world it is greatest in collection services innovations infrastructure and in library leadership all over the world paradoxically its classification system though successful and considered among the big ones is not considered an ideal one or strong logically this scheme is a classic example of an enumerative scheme no synthesis is possible even the common isolates are not given separately they are enumerated and clearly enumerated for each class in 11000 pages long schedule schedule is very bulky due to individual details p language and literature class alone contains 3200 pages wherein the entire ddc has 4000 and colon classification has only 2 200 pages there are 31 places for the different editions of the same book rights of the man by thomas paine scheme has no theory it is totally pragmatic which is based not on any scientific order but on literary warrant of the library of congress what is not in the library of congress is not in its classification lcc it is not any map of knowledge it is a classification of the library of congress and the books therein it was not designed as a universal system but the one made to serve the library of congress specifically each major class is virtually independent of the others with its own forms and geographical divisions and index it has always been extended and remodeled with the incoming flow of actual books uh, in the library of congress library editors keep developing the schedules as they classify it makes heavy use of alphabetical arrangement within the classes its hospitality to new subjects is enormous no other general classification scheme has the privilege of being developed by a library and that so large so it is the consumer as well as the producer the library of congress a brief introduction the library of congress was founded in 1800 in washington with 700 books purchased from sir us president thomas jefferson this collection was destroyed in the civil war by objectives it is a world library the greatest library in the world the leader library the library of congress is more than a national library by collection though the us has no national library de jure the us government and its people are library minded it is the largest depository library which meets the information needs of its legislative members the library serves as a research arm of the us congress and is de facto recognized as the national library of the united states e resources of the lc since 1994 the library of congress has digitized materials available online concentrating on its most rare and unique collections not available elsewhere in the world it includes digitized photographs manuscripts maps sound recordings motion pictures and books as well as born digital material such as websites in addition the library maintains and promotes the use of digital library standards and provides online research and reference services the library provides 
one of the largest bodies of non commercial high quality content on the internet lc classification as the name tells this scheme was developed by the library of congress for the library of congress and is certainly of the library of congress from 1904 to 1948 but continued to 1963 to 1993 on shifting to the new building it was decided to change its jeffersonian classification system the first four years in the new buildings were years of organizing the work of the first order it was designed specifically for the purpose and collection of the library of congress to replace system developed by thomas jefferson history of the library of congress at the time of 1897 its librarian was mr herbert putnam who suggested adopting a modern classification for its vast collection jcm henson was appointed superintendent of the catalog department at the library of congress in 1897 he is credited to be the father of cooperative cataloging he brought in charles martel as his chief assistant putnam sent martel and henson to libraries located across the nation to find a classification system that would work with the collection charles martel was the head classification division who was responsible to reclassify according to a more practical and flexible arrangement development of the library of congress objective was to design a system of classification which not merely recognizes present content but provides elasticity or hospitality for future development the staff designed a new largely independent classification though the influence of expensive classification by c a cutter is too obvious thus first outline of the library of congress classification was published in the year 1904 by charles martel and j c m henson the two fathers of library of congress classification from 1904 to 1948 the scheme was developed as the library collection was actually classified z library science class was the first to complete and k la the last class to be completed structure of the main class after completion of the outline in 1904 the various classes were developed by subject experts working in the library of congress this classification is essentially a team product in many ways it is at best a coordinated series of special classification which is in 29 parts contained in about 50 volumes each major class is published separately and is virtually independent of others thus it is a journal as well as a special classification scheme journal as it covers all the areas of knowledge special due to its depth of details though being enumerative it is highly detailed scheme and it is very useful for research libraries also its main classes are denoted by alphabets a to z as follow a generalia or miscellaneous classes b philosophy psychology and religion c d e f are all assigned to the class history g geography h social sciences j political science k law l education m music n fine arts p language and literature q science r medicine x and culture t technology u military science v naval science z library science and bibliography you will notice that some of the classes are lying vacant for future use division of 21 main classes each class except z library science has been further divided alphabetically again principal divisions are denoted by an added letter such as bc logic bd metaphysics b psychology and so on similarly q a is mathematics q b astronomy q c physics all branches of q science q d chemistry which has for example been further divided by numerals as follow q d 23.3 to 26.5 alchemy 71 to 142 
analytical chemistry, 146 to 197 in organic chemistry, 241 to 441 organic chemistry, 450 to 731 physical and theoretical chemistry, 901 to 999 crystallography. But it may be noted here, the numerals here are not decimal figures but arithmetical figures. It is 71, 142. For example, alphabetical subject divisions. It will be again noted the further divisions of arithmetical notation may be by alphabets which are mnemonical in use. In this way, the Library of Congress makes very good use of division by alphabets or alphabetical device. Many topics are further divided alphabetically. In fact, the system makes too much use of alphabetical notation. Alphabets are used for extension as given in cutter's table and this makes the classification very hospitable. For example, take the following examples. B, F, 5, 7, 5, forms of emotions in psychology. Then emotions are further divided alphabetically. A5, anger, A9, awe, F2, fear, H3, hate, L8, love, and so on. Common isolates or form divisions. Each class has its own complicated but unique system of auxiliary tables. Common isolates are enumerated under every main class and number differs from class to class of same common isolates. For example, let us take three classes. HS Statistics, HB Economic Theory, HD Economics. Under HS Statistics, periodicals are denoted by 1. But under HB, periodicals are given numbers 1 to 9. And under HD, they are 101. Similarly, Congresses or Conferences under HS Statistics are 9 to 11. Under HB Economic Theory, they are 21 to 29. And under HD Economics, the Conferences and Congresses are denoted by 105. Another take one example of a class number LB1599.K6A53 by Anderson, first edition. Similarly, the same book, when we add 1975 to it, it becomes edition of 1975. Here, A53 denotes Anderson, who is the author, and so on. Notation Notes LCD Scale 1975. Is highly mixed one, which comprises of alphabets and numerals which are arithmetical in nature. The notation is not at all synthetic. Every number has been listed or enumerated. The single letter indicates the general class or an additional letter the general divisions of a class and the Arabic figures in numerical sequence. Its smaller divisions which do not allow hierarchy. Usually it is added in two letters or three numerals. It is easy to use and provides enormous hospitality. Notation is not mnemonic, except the alphabetical device, or incidentally, literal economics such as G geography, M music, and T technology. Devices for hospitality of notation. The scheme is quite hospitable to new subjects. It mostly implies the following methods for hospitality. First is the gap device. Apart from vacancy of the letters I, O, W, X, and Y, there are many gaps left at the second level of subdivisions. For example, in B mathematics, BK, BS, BT, and in P literature, PU, in Q sciences, QF, QG, and QN are still lying vacant. Number of vacant places in the series 1 to 10,000 in every class is too large. Then is a decimal fraction device. This method is of recent origin. There are many places where an arithmetical number has been divided decimally. For example, HB172.5 macroeconomics. Here, 172 has been further extended decimally to accommodate a new topic under HB172. And lastly, but mostly used, is an alphabetical device. From the very beginning, it makes too much use of alphabetical subdivisions of a topic, which automatically provide infinite hospitality. But alphabetical arrangement is never logical. It is rather antithesis of a systematic arrangement. Status of notation. 
the labdo congress classification notation is criticized because it doesn't show the structure of the scheme and the hierarchy is sometimes difficult to discern clearly from the schedules themselves its notation is neither synthetic nor mnemonic gap device is neither a permanent nor a scientific solution it is simplistic gaps may not be there at the right place there will come a day when all the gaps are filled it is simply to postpone the crash decimal extension is the best solution for hospitality that it has started very recently to use index index is an important part of any classification system the library of congress scheme is in different parts each part has its own index there is no cumulative index to the scheme in the print as a whole the indexes are of relative kind comprehensive one but these are merely repetitive of the schedule not supplementary to them but the drawback is if you do not know this subject where you will go to see this subject so general cumulative index is necessary need for the general index is largely fulfilled by another publication the library of congress subject headings that is lc as h so the library of congress classification is very popular throughout the usa and it's also used in many other countries due to many advantages it offers to its users yet it is often referred to as a classification of the lc by the lc and for the lc in other way it is a privilege that it is both the consumer and the consumer and they keep a close watch on its needs and how it grows and it's kept relevant and up to date by the staff responsibility of revision of the library of congress classification is of the cataloging policy and support office cpso at the library of congress it holds weekly meetings of the classifiers who bring problems and suggestions for discussion about 5 to 6000 classes are added and change every year very closely and minutely changes are of course listed in the library of congress classification weekly list posted on the their website www.loc.gov/cat-directorate/cpso/cpsohtml-class so one can go to this website regularly to find the new additions and changes in the classification system changes are also listed in quarterly periodical which is non cumulative bulletin additions and changes to the library of congress classification different schedules are revised now and then not at once availability of schedules the lc schedules are available both in print and electronic formats super lccs gales library of congress classification schedules combined with the additional changes are updated annually each of the 40 volumes combined in one sequence the current edition of every library of congress classification schedule together with all additions changes and deletions published in lc classification additional changes through 2001 and the online lc classification that is weekly list since 2002 in addition gale has added gale notes to the text to clarify instructions and explain the shorthand phraseology used in the schedules classification web by the lc which includes lc subject headings is available on annual subscription with quarterly updates it is the electronic version it provides both the lcc and the lcsh with the link between many of the classes number and the lcsh equivalents web version is convenient and efficient as it allows search by keyword class number proximity option and boolean operations etc use its 41 printed volumes called schedules which may be purchased individually or as a set as long as copies are available world wide web that is www access via classification web an online product 
that includes not only LCC but also the text of the library of subject heading LCSH. A full set of LCC records in Mark 21 or Mark CXML format, as well as subscription to weekly updates services are available to the customers. No doubt the scheme was devised for internal use of the Library of Congress only. But now being highly specialized, one of it is very useful in research library or end libraries. 60% research libraries in the US are using it from 1920s onward. It is strong in law and social sciences. The National Library of Medicine classification system, NLM, uses the initial letter W and QS and QZ in the library. In the year 1960, libraries abandoned DDC and started using Library of Congress. This scheme was granted future. Many libraries of Asia, Europe and even national libraries are using this scheme. One reason for this is the extra details and scholarship offered. Another is the Library of Congress catalog, cataloging service, which makes such an important contribution to the standardization and economics in cataloging. Mark tapes and CIP data are available. Moreover, it is pragmatic. Over the course of the 20th century, the system was adopted for use by other libraries as well, especially large academic libraries in the United States. It is currently one of the most widely used library classification system in the world. To conclude, we say that this classification is a victory of pragmatism. Scholars of library classification feel that the library classification system conveys no hierarchy or order of assets. It is a mark and park series of vision holes and such a breaking of tradition ought to have deserved hard punishment, but instead the scheme is thriving and flourishing. The system has been criticized for lacking a sound theoretical base. Of course, that's true. Many of the classification decisions were driven by the practical needs of that library rather than to produce any map of knowledge. That is, it provides a guide to the books actually in one library collection not a classification of the world. The Library of Congress violates all the postulates, principles and laws that are considered important in classification making. Why it works, that is its broad and unlimited hospitality is one major reason. Library of Congress class numbers are available on MARC record. They are printed in CIP data and also many from centralized services. The system is the producer and the user of both, with which has its own privileges and conveniences. It has the greatest advantage and the largest lab to develop that and test the classification. Hence, it is based on literary warrant. It has a backing and support of the most powerful and rich library in the world, which in turn has a support of the most powerful nation on the search. To analyze its position in the world of library classification, it may be a sort of setback or lessons for the hair splitting or armchair logicians of classification that this classification system is popular. Its success proves that library classification systems more than anything else thrive on regular revisions and on direct or implied guarantee of its long life.